Shaving is one of the few aesthetic practices that almost all of us do on a regular basis. However, as common as it is, sometimes it is not particularly enjoyable, and its associated side effects such as scratches and razor burn are not pleasant. Thankfully, medical researchers have bestowed upon us laser hair removal as a method of achieving long-term hair reduction. But how much of it do you truly understand? Here are some facts about laser hair removal. Number one, laser hair removal is not a painful procedure. Contrary to popular belief, laser hair removal doesn't cause so much pain. In fact, some people describe the procedure as painless. It is still possible, however, for some others to feel discomfort. The sensation felt during laser hair removal is similar to pinching. Number two, it is effective on all skin tones. Laser hair removal employs a light beam that targets pigments in the hair to reach the follicle. Any further hair growth will be halted if the latter is severely damaged. Because of the contrast between skin and hair, the laser can target the pigment in the hair. In fact, ideal laser hair removal candidates have fair skin and dark hair. Hence, a patient with dark skin and dark hair would not have that contrast. For a long time, people of colour were discouraged from undergoing laser hair removal. Because of the lack of contrast, the laser was able to target the melanin in the skin, making dark skin more prone to burning and scarring. However, modern technology has changed everything. Number three, the overall process requires patience. Laser hair removal is a long-term commitment. You will be required to attend a session every six weeks or so. This is primarily due to the hair growth cycle, which is different for each individual and each hair on a person's body. Because this is when the hair connects to the follicle, laser hair removal can only target hair in the anagen phase of growth. Unfortunately, only 20% of your hair is in that stage at any given time. As a result, during each session, the laser will only be able to target up to 20% of your hair. Furthermore, the hair will not fall out or vanish after your first session. It will take two or three weeks after your first treatment to notice a difference as the damaged follicle slowly ejects the hair. To allow the hair to fall out smoothly, wait 10 days after each session before shaving. Number four, you won't be able to go to the gym afterwards. Do not over celebrate by going to the gym, for example, during the 24 hours following your session. The reason for this is that the laser's heat remains on your skin for 24 hours. As a result, you should avoid any activities that may cause additional heat to your skin, such as working out, taking hot showers, and so on. If you don't, you risk creating a nice warm environment for bacteria to increase and cause you to get spots. Number five, it may not work well on light hair. Laser hair removal is effective on all skin tones. New technologies have enabled people with light skin, dark skin, and everyone in between to reap the benefits of laser hair removal. However, while this is true for skin tone, it isn't the case for hair color. The laser does, in fact, emit a beam of light that is directed at the pigment in the hair. Melanin is required for this to work. Without melanin or pigment, the hair will not absorb heat and will not move it to the follicle. Blonde and grey hair have low pigmentation. They are completely absent in white hair. As a result, laser hair removal may not be effective on very light hair. The laser simply would not be able to reach the hair follicle. Even if fair-haired patients cannot be treated in areas where the hair is very shiny, they can still undertake laser hair removal in areas where the hair is darker. This is true, for example, of the underarms and the bikini or mankini. So do these facts help you in making the decision to do laser hair removal? Please like, comment and subscribe.